All right, so let's talk about the VexCode V5 text layout and interface. This is the very first screen, the initial screen you're going to see right when you start up VexCode V5 text. It's a very blank screen. It just shows you the app version that you're currently working with. But if you ever are unsure that you have the most updated version, you can always click this top left icon, and that's just going to bring up the same exact screen. So nothing is displayed right now. It's waiting for us to open a project or start doing something. And that's the very first thing we're going to talk about is the file menu. So under the file menu are just the basic major options you would expect. Start a new project, open a project. There's also examples and tutorials, but I'll explain that in just a little bit later. So let's start with just opening a brand new project so we can see um, a common layout. So call it first project 10. So we've named our project. So the very first thing we see is that our project custom name is right at the very top center. So we click the project name. It shows us that we can um, edit the description of the project, explain what we're going to be doing, and we can also enable um, any expert options that we were looking into. Right next to the project name is this number icon. This lets you select which of the eight slots you're going to be choosing. You can download up to eight programs at once, um, and this just lets you organize which one you're using. The edit menu is just your very simple undo, redo, copy, paste, search within the program. Um, text editing tools as well, like zooming in the font, adding in, inserting comments, or just toggling whether their comments are showing. So there is quite a lot going on with the VEX code interface, the text interface, um, but really everything you want to know is right in the top bar. So after the file menu, our project name and menu is the build and download uh, tabs. So if we don't have a robot connected, we're going to see a grayed out controller and brain, and we're only going to be allowed to build and compile our program, and we're not going to be able to run or stop, download the program. Next to the build, we also have our devices, um, our robot configuration tab. So we can click this, we can add our uh, controllers, drivetrains, motors, vision sensor, anything, three wire sensors, everything is added under robot configuration, and that just lets the program know what we're working with. Next to the robot configuration, tab is this question mark. This is a command help as well as a full reference for all of the commands available to you. Um, once again, I'll explain this a little bit more. This is just overall layout and, um, and interface using the program. There's also this feedback tab up here. So if you ever had questions or something you wanted to get um, a direct answer from the VEX code support staff or just let them know how, your thoughts or maybe something you'd like to see implemented in the software, you can let them know through the feedback tab. So in addition to this top men menu, we also have a few other things that are in our view. So over here are our source and header files. This is just a simple um, file organization tool that shows you what is being implemented in our program and where all of the files are that are being accessed. Um, if you didn't really want to know too much about this, a lot of it is automatically generated for you. So if you really just wanted to focus on your code and hide that, you can always click this tab arrow and then just focus only on your main code. And the bottom screen is taken up by the debugger. Um, it just lets you know in real time issues with your code. Um, if I start to type something that just doesn't make sense, a bad word, it's going to highlight it in red and say that it um, gives us real time debugging. So this is the debugger in real time showing us that um, it's an undeclared identifier. So if I did try to run and compile my program, this is a problem that would end up showing in my compiler. But it's letting you know also as you're coding what's happening and why it's showing up in red highlight. But you can also hide the debugger if you didn't really want to focus on it right now and you just want to look at your code, you can also click the tab arrow and hide that as well. So this was just a general overview of the layout and interface of VexCode V5 text. In our next segment, we're going to talk about connecting your robot, turning this icon from gray to green, and downloading your first program, a simple print of hello to the brain. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see you next time.